Hello there dear youtubers my name is king1993 and today I'm gonna be comparing about two games which are eventually gonna be coming one of them is called fate trigger novita another one is called is string nova or its previous name used to be kalabiao so uh, people who have heard of the name kalabiao should be able to know which game this is this is the game where the characters become a two-dimensional being into a paper and then if you try to shoot them they if you turn into paper, if your enemy shoots you and you turn into a paper, your chances of getting shot by the enemy is gonna get lowered, something like that. And this is basically the PUBG version of anime or enemy version of PUBG. Sorry about that. So, both of these games are going to be good, but there is some advertisement issue that I need to be talking about right now in order to get a proper idea of what. Is actually happening so let's start with this one here in the fate trigger so in the trigger okay you will definitely see that the overall introduction of this game is very good very good there is no doubt about that uh, very good uh, both female and male character is going to be available so there is no doubt about it basically speaking both male player and female player will be able to enjoy this game that is not the issue here the characters falling from the sky is still not the issue here then what is the issue the issue is immediately after falling it seems like immediately after falling transition to this place here you are going to be start fighting against the enemy that is not true majority of the time what happens in this game in pubg is basically like you are going to be running throughout the entire battlefield for such a long period of time that you are not going to be encountering enemies like this immediately after falling on the map now, the, each character has their own different uh, power types, such as this one is fast, another one is basically good at sniping, another one is good at building. So, different character has different abilities, and based on that, I'm going to say th that is good, that is not bad, that is actually good. For example, this character can actually build a block where your ally might can also be able to hide there and will be able to defend against the enemy. These are very good there is no doubt about that like if i were to go like on and on about every part of this game every part of this game is good except the collecting the weapons because immediately after landing on the map what will happen is you will be facing against enemies where both the enemies and you will not have your preferred gun and what will happen at the end is if you do not have your own preferred gun your chances of what should i call it your chances of advantage at using a certain specific type of gun is gonna get lower okay like you need to collect the gun you need to collect the ammunition and then you will have to find the enemy and you have to hope that the enemy is not in a higher position than you so that the enemy can see you but you can't see them you will have to compromise all of those parts now again as i said everything about this game is okay like this is a healer character there is no healing character in pubg there is only med kit okay so compared to that this game is far better than pubg i'm gonna say but the only problem this game has is the very limited amount of actual uh, fighting. This game is going to be having fighting so less that you will feel like you are actually not even playing the game. Okay, you are just like exploring and getting defeated fast. That's what going to be happening most of the time. You are not going to be fighting enemies majority of the time majority of the time you are going to be exploring the map so this is the hard reality of this game i know because i have played pubg to know that how this type of battle royale type of game actually works and to, to be told this game works in the exact manner as i have seen. so what can you do about this well i think in this case i think in this case if the developer were to hear what i have to say then maybe it would have been a little bit better Give this game two modes. Give this game two modes. One of them is going to be player versus enemies and player versus player. 
In the player versus enemy, make the enemy extremely difficult to beat, not in terms of stamina only, rather in terms of speed, agility, aiming, and many other things like give uh, enemies like players versus enemy where each lobby is going to have about four or maybe yeah up to four is the maximum i think so let's say in one lobby there is four real player and many of them are going to be just enemies ai type of enemies okay uh, like not bad ai good ai type of enemies and give another version which is going to be like uh, player versus player so player versus enemy and player versus player pve and pvp if you have both of these then i can assure you that this game would have been a lot better now if they are only going for player versus player i think this game is not gonna last very long okay because even though this game aesthetically looks far better than many of the other games i know uh, such as uh, there was another game besides pubg i do not remember what was it called uh, fire arena like fire arena is a downgrade version of pubg so you can probably guess what do i meant to say as a lower quality version now after seeing uh, someone else play this game i Im immediately realized this game is going to be a flop if they do not fix that pvp versus pve area it's because i don't want to spend 30 minutes of my time just finding weapons and getting one shot by the enemy because majority of the time this, this is what happens now one might say well this is a real life representative of what happens in a, a battlefield or war okay like in even in real life situation in battlefield an army most of the time are equipped with minimum one or maximum two weapon to fight against the enemy so for you to say that okay i need to collect the guns and the weapons and the let's say ammunition and then i have to find the enemy that's gonna be a huge waste of time okay so that is part of this game now there is this game which is called string nova now i'll comparing this after i uh, talk about this one so in string nova i think what happens is you will turn into paper okay so what happens when you turn into paper so what happens when you turn into paper when you turn into paper what happens is these are unable to shoot you and you can climb up walls and you can basically defeat your enemy not only that this game is time based like within 10 minutes you can you kill the enemy as much as you can to see what is the maximum amount of uh, time you have killed your enemy and not only that because it is a limited time based game like about 10 minutes and you can respawn as much as you can if you get beaten by the enemy majority of the time after that uh, that is your fault but if you are in a situation let's say i came from a job i feel extremely tired but i still need to satisfy my daily needs of a little bit of a little dose of uh, what you call it happiness okay what can i do i want to play a game right and this is the game i have installed so what is going to happen afterwards afterwards what is going to happen is when you game and then spend about let's say one hour it is equivalent to six game session so if you just sat down on your computer for a six game session or six rounds of game okay and you have won about three of them and lost three of them at least you'll feel good that you at least won the game about three times and you have lost the game about three times but 
in the loss game you might have not lost because of your the skill issue you you might have lost because you were in a bad teammate but actually you will feel good that you are still better than the other players so compared to uh this game compared to this game at least in the stream nova what you will have is a satisfaction that yes i was able to play the game i was able to improve my skill i was able to beat the higher players whereas in this case in this game's case okay what is happening is okay let me collect the weapon first and then the ammunition and then my teammates if it is possible that is I, and then i hope that the enemy is not close enough and fully equipped it to kill me just by landing there it happens majority of the time so uh, i'm not finished with the string over so in Shinova, obviously different characters have their different abilities and you're still gonna be able to turn into paper like every character will turn into paper and it will let you climb up walls and it will let you dodge the enemy's bullets up to a certain amount of time <laughs> and because it is a limited time of limited time based game all of the thing that is gonna be happening is you will be fully able to enjoy your game session The only time downside about this game is going to be a sniper. A sniper uh, uh, player in this game is not going to be that much effective. <laughs> uh, that is the whole truth. It's not going to be that much effective as much as it is going to be effective in Fate Trigger. In Fate Trigger or in any of the long range battle royale type of game, sniper is the most number one problem not only it is game related like even in real life a sniper is gonna be able to cause a whole lot amount of problem <laughs> than in a short range battle uh, that is the whole reality uh, other than that if you were to ask me okay but i have seen many of the what should i call them CSGO players that they are able to finish with AK-47. Well, if you were to say, okay, AK-47, if you were to compare AK-47 in this String Nova, then maybe it matters that, yes, even with AK-47, you can still do a lot of damage. Like, a uh, sniper is not that much going to be problematic. But an AK-47 in this game, has such a high amount of recoil that even if you were to shoot the enemies majority of the time you are not going to be able to hit the enemy properly that is the first reality the second reality is going to be sniper is always going to be a top tier weapon in this uh, battle royale game then compared to uh, this uh, small map area uh, team deathmatch game okay so that's the whole reality here so overall what is my conclusion or what am i trying to say i'm saying string nova <laughs> string nova string nova is okay in every way okay string nova is okay in every way but what is not okay is the fed trigger fed trigger if they do not implement the player versus enemy I don't think this game is gonna be stay active for a long period of time. Now, I've been playing uh, uh, free-to-play type of games for a long period of time. All I can say that if the community listens, then it is okay. If they don't listen, then I don't think any of the game is gonna stay active for a long period of time. Okay, what do I mean by that? Well, let's say for Zelda Zone Zero. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, Zenless Zone Zero. So, what happened in Zenless Zone Zero was this Zenless Zone Zero, we thought that they are not going to be listening to the player weights or at all because Genshin Impact is a great example of that. But 
uh, Zenless Zone Zero actually listened to the player and they realized that less, the community response is highly important. If the if they do not respond to the community, the game is gonna flop for a very long period of time and very hard, which is a bad thing. So Zenless Zone Zero actually listen to the problem and they have implemented the problem which is highly good i highly recommend it in string nova this game is going to be good by default because a short map based game are basically better than battle royale type of games and in battle royale type of game if they implement the player versus enemies a lot more player even myself i would play it also if they were to fix one of the important problem is i think each character should have their own signature weapon as a default when they fly onto the ground and then afterwards if they need to collect other weapons let them collect their other weapons okay like don't go empty handed this is what i'm saying give at least uh, 120 bullets okay give 120 bullets and their signature weapon to each of the character like each character have their own signature weapon give them their weapon and give them uh, 120 ammunition okay and then let them go on the map and let them and put them on the map afterwards and then after the players or the characters are on the map let the character then decide or let the player decide which type of weapon you want to use okay you get to keep your primary one and then you also get to keep your secondary one that's the whole thing about this game okay so overall i am saying this because the string nova is a very good game it is gonna succeed eventually but but for this one fate trigger i think uh, the developer need to implement this change because I have played a lot of uh, battle royale type of game and I don't actually like them because I need to collect the weapon first my primary weapon is not good enough the enemy is going to be beat me just by landing in the same place and getting the weapon first that's the those the, are the whole issue here if they were to do another thing like when you fall on the map okay you're not gonna be allowed to uh, go to the same exact area as the previous player landed okay you will still be landing in a high uh, ammunition zone so that you get to collect your own weapon and then you can use them on the enemy or against the enemy so give them their own weapon give a new system where you cannot land in the same area okay if all of these are fixed then i can assure you that this game is to be staying alive for a long period of time so this is my whole ranting please change make a change otherwise this game is not gonna survive <laughs>